Hey love pups, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes, just the beautiful comments that you send and just, you know, the blessings that you, you, you know, that you tell me I give you that I can return the same and it's just back and forth and we just send it out amongst other people. And with that being said, I'm so grateful. So thank you. Much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or if it's about the positive feedback of the video, or you're just telling me about your empathic gift that has been placed upon you. Or if you feel like the video was very informative to you or just put you in a good place, go ahead and you know pass it on. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, the beautiful music that I'm listening to is relaxing music piano music positive study music okay <laughs> i will post that link in the description box below i like it because it has the you know the piano in the in the background and it's just so peaceful but today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas emancipate yourself from mental slavery today i was like I was all over the place. It's not like I was saying I was in a bad mood or I was in the best mood. But it was just like in a mood where I know I need to raise my vibrations. And I was I forgot what music I was listening to at the time. But all of a sudden, um, Bob Marley popped in my head. You know, I always got a picture of him right there. You know, so it's just like he's one of my spirit totems or whatever. And um, it was just crazy because all of a sudden I start hearing... Uh, this song called Redemption Song and it was like I always loved this song and it was just so peaceful to me and it was like really speaking to me at the time and it you know brought up really good emotions like you know this is where I'm at you know it's just like emancipate yourself from mental slavery no one else can free you but yourself this is basically you know we, we, we get trapped in our minds especially with us empaths oh my gosh it, it's just like we can overthink a lot of stuff and it, it could turn into paranoia and it could be that ego trip that just talks and talks and talks and talks and it will just you know you'll know when it's your intuition between your intuition and your ego talking to you because ego will say some stuff that will have you contradicting yourself have you questioning your faith have you questioning your insanity your, I mean, sanity or having you question people all around you, you know, and it's just like, you know, your intuition, it lets you know what, you know, what people you need to stay from or whatever. But it's just like when we sit up here and we deal with constant mental slavery all the time, it's like when we do not think outside the box because we're so busy feeding off of what the ego wants to tell us, you know, it, it's just like, you know, I'm me dealing with my sobriety. You know, I, that ego just irks my nerves, especially when you're trying to do the right thing or whatever, and it just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it's just like you have to understand, you know, if you want to be free from the things that you're going through, and I don't know what made me want to do this video today, but it was just like, you know, as an empath, we always are in in our minds. <laughs> we try, I mean, not all the time, but it's like a lot of people that, you know, you tell me, you know, I always hear this in my mind, you know, and it's just like, it plays upon your faith. It, it, it plays upon the things that you, that you desire, or it could be things that you're trying to run away from. It's just like, you have to be able to separate yourself and know, you know, okay, this is my ego. This is my intuition telling me things because it's the intuition. I really feel to me, my opinion, your intuition will tell you, hey, you're not supposed to do this or, you know, it's not right. Or, you know, you need to let this go or 
you need to stop talking to this person or you need to go ahead and try to find you a different job or this is not the right path that you should go to. You know, your intuition will give you encouraging words. You know, don't feed off of the ego because we have a bad habit of doing that. Hell, I even have a bad habit of doing that. You know, don't feed off of your, your egos. Don't let your, your egos be on that ego trip. You know, it's just like when you, you try to push yourself towards that 5D. So when you can be able to to even, you know, it's not like you can really stop negative memories or negative things that are going through your head. You can just divert them into positive things. You know, if your mind is set on this this thing that you went through in the past and it's just not, you're just trying to let it go, but it's just, it keeps re reoccurring. So obviously there's something deep in your psyche that you need to heal from. But obviously when you're trying to heal from it and you're trying to move on, you have to realize that you've been stuck in this path for so long and that rotating door for so long that's what your mind is used to <laughs> thinking like that because i remember i was like that where you know i've had bad things happen to me i had mishaps to where if something was right that went on for me or something was really good that was something that i needed to worry about because i wasn't used to happy things coming into my life and i wasn't willing to to welcome them so you have to be able to welcome these things into your life. Be able to welcome your blessings. Don't be stuck on the things that you have been through. That you, you know, if as long as it's not still reoccurring, this is something that you can get through. Even if it's something that's reoccurring, you can still always get through this. It's just, you know, I just seem like it is a little bit more easier to try to get over things that has happened, but it's no longer happening to things that are keep reoccurring. Because it's just like, you know, even though it keeps reoccurring, you still have to deal with them, but it's every different lesson that you have to deal with it. You know, and some people don't understand that, but it's just like, if you have been through a mistake for so many times, you learn something different out of each and every day on that same mistake every single time. You have to really think about it. If you sit there and think about the things that you've been through, you have learned something new each and every time you've been through that one same mistake. Because it was meant for you to go through that. You know, you just do not want to be <laughs> going through this to the point where you pass on and you have to come back just to recorrect that whole situation over again. So, you know, emancipate yourself from the mental slavery. Let yourself go. Allow yourself to tap into your unknown and step into something that's outside of your comfort zone. I have to keep telling myself that every day. Step outside your comfort zone. Do something that's different that is not what you do on the ordinary. You know, be able to expand yourself, even though it's just like me with me being an introvert. I have to really try to get myself out there networking you know reach out and talk to people because it's kind of hard for me to do and you know when people say that it's, it's like how it's hard for you to do you, you to do them and you do youtube videos it's a whole different story when you're doing it and you're just right here you don't have to interact with people unless they're online so it's just it's just totally different and especially if you're an introvert with you being like with the hayokas and stuff like that you'll get what i'm talking about but allow yourself to be able to tell the difference between your ego and your intuition. Allow yourself to be able to reach those positive step zones and milestones that you need to be on. Don't worry about, you know, the things that happened in the past because that they, they, they're there for what they're for, for. You have to learn off of them. You have to be able to, your best teacher is your past, your, your hurts, your mishaps and everything like that because you learn off of them, you grow off of them. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. I hope everybody had a blessed Monday. It's like a manic Monday, but you know, hey, it's the beginning of the week for you to start off a whole new you. So I hope everybody had a blessed weekend, had a safe weekend, had a relaxing weekend. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And, you know, if it, it was, it put you in a good place or it just gave you some good information, go ahead and pass it on. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. And I will talk to you on my next video. Peace and be wild. And remember, send out as much love and positivity and love and light as you possibly can. And I will send you on my list of videos. Bye. Peace and be wild.